Hello everyone, welcome to my jack build. I am Dirch, and this is Darth Timothy, the Sith Lord of the pre-sequel. I, when I first got this game and got to the mission where you get the Spadruin, I just fell in love with it. As a big Star Wars nerd, any chance I got to make a lightsaber build, I was incredibly happy. And Jack seemed to really fit the build better than any other character kind of theme-wise, and just his ability to use it was absolutely amazing, even topped Athena for it in my mind. So, let's uh, get started with the build, I guess. You already know it's based around the Spadroon. So the center tree is really what made it work. You have a lot of gun damage in here. The Novas, to me, kind of simulated force pushes, and it kind of fit theme-wise with the Jedi idea as well, which I loved. So, Integrity does a lot of bonus damage, and with your jacks, you can get that extra bonus multiplier as well. Collaboration, again, a lot of damage. You see at 10 stacks, it's 100% 100 extra damage. Who's not going to love that? Teamwork, this is one of the most important ones and one of the reasons I love the comp. That is up to 50% of your max health per second. And when you're running around with your jacks, you get this up pretty high. Usually you don't max it out, but you get it high enough. Synergy, weapon damage, critical hit damage again. You're just stacking up the damage here. Accountability is cool as a one-pointer. It's it's just worth it. Um, a lot of times playing co-op, I've gotten this up around like third. I've gotten it maxed out at 50 stacks, and at 50 stacks, it's huge. Uh, it's not something you need, but for the one point, the bonuses it gets you is huge. And even playing solo, a lot of times, I'll get it up around 20 stacks pretty often, with my digi jacks taking attention. Uh, winning, this was bugged for a long time, but now that it's fixed, it really helps your survival, and it helps you get around the map faster, which helps your digijacks explode better, and everything is good, and especially because most of my time I'm dealing with melee range guns. Optimism, this is huge. So there's going to be a three-prong Nova explosion here with the digijacks. I am wearing a Cryo Nova Shield, and so are my Digi Jacks. So you will have that explosion. Now you have an explosive explosion, which gets boosted damage because of the Cryo explosion. And the damage is pretty good on this. And then every time that happens, they spawn with less health, which means your Digi Jacks are dying faster, which means you get more stacks of teamwork and collaboration. It's a win, 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 win. Going down here, Believe is just an awesome kill skill. Uh, just everything. This is what Ranger should have been for Axton. Just 25, 20, 20, and 20. Those are actually numbers, rather than more different boosts, with just 5% each. And all of these are really nice boosts. Potential. Here's our Shock Nova. So this is the third Nova so you got your cryo, your shock, and your explosive. Why the cryo is so awesome is it'll strip the shields, and shields make enemies resist cryo. You get the point. Just all three of these Novas working together just make each other work perfectly. It's such a beautiful combination. And then I can use my action skill while fight for my life, and that comes in handy sometimes because you're playing pretty irresponsibly with this build. Uh, delegation just makes you more tanky. And since you are standing up in enemies' faces, you get hit. And your digijacks die faster, which again makes you stronger and heal faster. Leadership, this is one of my favorite capstones of the game. In fact, if you look here, even at level 70, I'm only using one capstone, which seems kind of silly. Um... Leadership just, it makes everything work. Making your Digijacks dying count as kills for you. It works with just so many skills. A, you know, I got 
things like believe and synergy as kill skills. It stacks teamwork. It works on so many levels. And I can get a second wind out of it, which is even cooler. Best foot forward. This is another just one of those amazing skills. And the fact that the comm boosts best foot forward and teamwork, any comm that boosts those two are is a special comm. This just makes your Digijack duration so long. Because of leadership, as I was just talking about down here, when they die, it counts for this. So you get really long action skills. Just compensation. Uh, this build does throw a lot of grenades, and this helps their damage. I try to run around with zero grenades, and as soon as one builds up or I grab one I throw it and that also makes the spadroons magazine size just stupid big uh, this is your third nova giving them my cryo nova shield jack's cash this gets me more grenades to throw what's not to love and the jack's dying count towards these kills again for leadership so that's even more skills that leadership is hitting. Inspire. If you don't like this skill, I won't be friends with you. It's simply the greatest skill ever made in any video game in the history of video games. And if you don't like it, you are an idiot. On my mark. Seriously, get Inspire. It's fucking fantastic. On my mark, I didn't really need this one pointer. I could have put this one point into winning to finish it off at five out of five. But it's more free grenades every now and then. What's not to like? Um, it's kind of weird with long bows, and I do use a long bow grenade, but I have had it work. So again, it's one point. It's it's no inspire, but you got a lot of points to go around. Uh, hero pose. This is just all about more survival. And when your jacks do go down, you want some of it. Um, typically you want to recall your jacks to shorten your duration, but sometimes you get in those fights where you they're just out the whole time. And this makes a big difference in your survival when they're down. And even while they're up. Persistence, this is another one that's just about survival while your uh, jacks are down. When it's cooling down, you get more shield capacity at 40% is big, and you're regenerating 10% of your health per second. And the other cool thing, this doesn't go away when your digijacks, your cooldown goes away. Your stacks will go away pretty quick, because you, you probably won't be getting uh, the fight for your life. But this will stick around for a couple of seconds after they go away. And between those two, you have a lot of survival for the first 3-4 seconds of your cooldown. So if you need to retreat or get away or swap to a weapon, you have it. I didn't get promote the ranks here because I just want my Digijacks to die, and this can give them more life. And that's bad. I mean, I could have done that instead of on my mark, but I didn't because I don't want them to have more health. And then over here... I know I'm throwing away free points, and I usually don't like to do that with comms, but there's no reason to spend five points up here. I don't need anything in this tree. Money and power is cool, but I'm not going to spend ten points of stuff I don't need to get to it. Um, you know, I love Company Man at absolute advantage, but with the build-out in this build, they don't really... they don't really fit. They don't add a lot. So, you know, this would be nice for ammo here, but again, spending a lot of points to get down here. Company man isn't needed. I don't need fire rate. I'm mainly using the spud rune. It's just no reason to really go down into this tree, as amazing as it is. And this is one of my favorite skill trees. Well, not the top half. I don't love the top half. But the bottom half of the skill tree is one of my favorite ones gearbox has ever designed. But even though I love it, doesn't fit this build. So I throw away this. I put one one here because why not? It's worth the free five points. Yeah, I got bar. Um, 
Now to the guns. The Spadroon, this is what the build is based around. I can just run up to enemies and hit them in the face with a lightsaber and it makes me happy. And because it just has great base damage, as you can see here, compared to the Virovuls, the Spadroon gets work done. And you add in all the damage buffs you saw here, you know, 100% here, another 30% there, another 25% there, that's 155% more damage. On top of that, added in all my Novas hitting everything, that adds up a lot. And the continuous damage is on top of that stuff, so this builds up fast if you can do the math. And then 237 magazine size coupled with this is, yeah. Uh, this is kind of, if I need a little bit more range and if my jacks go down. That's why I have this instead of a rosy. Uh, when you're, so much of your survival is around your digi jacks being up. So when they're down, you want something like this. And it still gets work done. And then also the fact that it can reflect off enemies and other enemies kind of seems fitting as, you know, Sith shooting lightning. The tasers, occasionally, you need to shoot things at range. And sometimes it helps to match elements. So, this is kind of a laser build. I wanted lasers. These shoot like lasers. Uh, they work really good with Jack's skills. They just fit the build. Um, there might be better guns for these two slots. But these thematically fit in, and they get the job done, so I'm happy. This is a huge part of it. I messed around with a lot of Nova Shields. Every Nova Shield in the game I messed around with. And a lot of them worked so good in so many different ways. But this just worked the best. Combining Cryo with Shock and Explosive was just a complete win. It made everything just in this build click so much better. It works with any of the Nova Shields. It works really well. Uh, it's really fun with the Black Hole and so many others. But like I said, this thing, it was better for co-op because the Black Hole's really annoying to people you're playing co-op with. Uh, good luck hitting anything when everything's flying around the map. So this makes it more friendly. You know, clap traps with their explosive builds. Love it. I mean, everyone loves a lot of Cryo. And, God, I wish Borderlands 2 would have had a slag Nova Shield. That would have been awesome. Uh, I couldn't believe it when there actually was a Nova sh uh, Cryo Nova Shield in this game. It was fantastic. The Celestial Calm. The red text on this really works well with the Spadroon and the Vira Pulse. Um, the critical hit damage is great again, even better with the tasers. Uh, but mainly, it was about hitting these skills. Best foot forward with teamwork. It was mainly those two. Now, having collaborate and just compensation are a huge nice bonus. But best foot forward and teamwork just makes your Digijack stay out for so long. It gives you so much health. I mean, these two skills I want calm, like I said, are ridiculous. Yeah, I could care less about these over here with this build. In other builds, those are pretty awesome, but in this build, those really did it. Next is the Stormfront. Sith throw lightning. This is the ultimate lightning grenade. And with this build, you get to throw a lot of these. And you actually have the health to run through them and hit enemies within them and not really worry about the damage you take. And that's also why this is a grounded shield. So this thematically fits in. It's a badass grenade. It's incredibly fun. It's just perfect. And then there's the Eddy. I mean, A, this is incredibly Star Wars. It boosts your laser damage, which is great. The air control is fantastic, and just all the life support system, and yeah. The little shock it puts out again, it fits so thematically with this build. I, I just couldn't believe that all this stuff could come together so nicely to make this incredibly awesome Star Wars build. So, I can start this. What do you mean I can't use? Oh, enter game I already did that.
I only put this around level 3 because I didn't want this video Let's to go forever. Started. What do we got to start here? And already I have to show why I need the tasers and why the tasers are good. Yeah, this probably isn't the spawn I wanted to show off this build with a bunch of flying enemies. But I guess it shows that you can deal with them. Where is that? So I'm going to recall them in between enemies here. And they should be back up in a second. And it's Spudroon time. Slam and destroy. Oh, here's a good example. Gotta find his crit. You just see how fast they melt once you get him in there. Here's another one. Just instantly melting these ultimate badasses. And ultimate badasses, this is an OP8 Borderlands 2. But they're still pretty beefy. And part of why this Padroon works so good there is a lot of their beef and the ultimate badasses in this came from their shields and obviously this Padroon could care less. This build is seizure inducing so uh, warning. You can just see how nothing can even really touch me with this. It's just, you have all the survival in the world. And my timer is running out. This, you can see, I like to recall them to lessen that timer, but in this case I won't be able to, and perfect, I'm getting the Shadow Trap spawn. Oh, I forgot to be chucking my grenades. I'm a little rusty. I haven't been playing the pre-sequel a ton lately. Ignore those guys. I know those aren't hurting him, but I'm just throwing them to get rid of them. I was hoping they would hit hope and self-esteem a bit. And of course he disappears on me. That's not him. Let's see where the real one is. Is that him? There he is. You can see how the Spudroon is just wrecking him. And I'm just standing here, not caring about damage. More grenades. There he is. Again, just not caring about damage at all. I hate this area. I got stuck here the other day trying to get someone out of fight for my life and I just kept hitting the jump pad. You. 
And like I said, this is why I have the Vira Pulse. And some guns I can use at range for when I need it. Alright, where did he go? That's not him. That's not him. Where did he go? Well, he's somewhere over here. I guess I gave him his shield back. I'm not too worried about that. I guess that's gotta be him over here. Where is he hiding? There he is. Well, you can see here, I'll just melt his shield incredibly fast and then I'll finish him off. This guy can be annoying. Oh, don't want to get knocked off the edge there. So I'll stay away from his crit spot just so I don't have to worry about that. So I just chuck grenades. And you can see how I'm just walking through my storm fronts. My health goes low, but it just goes right back up. And ran out of ammo there. Oh, that's terrible. But, kind of ran out of ammo at the perfect time there. I was hoping for a spawn without him, because I think he's a bit boring to watch. But, I think it still actually demonstrated the, the durability of this build. Where you can just stand there and just take damage and hit them. It's almost Krieg-like. Oddly enough, or if they would have created a Mr. Torg in this game, I don't think they can do many more explosions than that. Let's see what we get here. Nothing there. And nothing really that special there. So that is the Darth build. The ultimate in the Force. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, I'll be uh, posting this in the forum so you can be part of the conversation there. The build thread's been out there for quite a while, and I will link that in the description, or just comment below, let me know what you think, and uh, I suggest everyone, if you like playing Jack, try this build out, because it's just a lot of fun, and it's really effective. I took down the end boss in this DLC without going down or having any troubles with him because he just couldn't kill me. So, that's it. I will talk to everyone later. Have a nice day. Bye.